12 riddles to check if you can escape from danger. I ain't never been in danger. Damn, it's loud. I ain't never hey, been in danger. Hey, what's though. up? I'm here with a so new just test know that, that I'm check escape. your wits and survival skills. Just know I'm going to escape. crack the following 12 <laughs> riddles you feel what I'm and saying? write down your results. At the end, you can see how well you did. But I should warn you, you'll need to do your best to avoid all the traps. Man, Good luck. ain't no one scared. Number one, a problem in the jungle. You're traveling Monkeys? through the jungle all on your own. One morning, you find out that you're almost out of water. Okay. You can get more water from one of four sources. Okay. A juicy cactus, a pond with salty seawater, a clear still lake, or a silty stream. What source of water will you choose to fill your the filter cactus. water bottle with? I'm choosing the cactus. Ten seconds to decide. Because if I take the pricks off the cactus, I could probably use it as a toy for uh, other pleasures. So it's, it's multi-usable. I'm choosing the cactus. Most cacti are toxic, and instead of quenching your thirst, you'll have a severe stomach ache. Salty sea I, I just knew I wouldn't want to do a cactus, Fortnite like, cause why would I want to be poisoned? You know what I'm saying? Why would I want that? Hey, I'm live on Twitch every single Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Link is in the description. I better see you there. Water will dehydrate you. Yeah, salt's Stagnant not good for you. Stagnant water in the still lake is yeah, swarming with all kinds of bacteria. That's why and I chose the stream. It is extremely dangerous. That's why I chose the Thus, stream, cause your it's best active moving water. Would be the silty stream. Yeah. It contains nothing your filter water bottle can't neutralize. Yeah. Number two. A road accident. A truck, a man riding a horse, and a motorcycle are waiting on the road for the green light. Okay. Suddenly, the truck driver drops his cell phone on the horn. Mm. The loud noise scares the horse, and it bites the motorcyclist's ear. Damn! Shock Mike and Tyson. pain, the man unwittingly moves his motorcycle and causes an accident. Okay. But which person actually broke the law? You have 10 seconds to figure it out. Um, the horse broke the law because why is it in the middle of the lane, right? Also, the motorcyclist broke the law because he ran the red light, you know what I'm saying? But not the horse, not, not the truck driver. It's either the motorcyclist or the horse. It's the motorcyclist yep. because he isn't wearing a helmet while driving. I was right, I'll take it. Three, a forest escape. You're lost in a forest. It's getting dark, and very soon, wild animals will start their hunt. Okay. There are four roads you can choose from, the north, south, west, and east. But the north path will take you to a supermassive black hole ready to swallow you up. What? The south road goes through a lake full of huge whale sharks. Okay. If you take the west road, you'll end up at the edge of a ginormous hole in the ground which can't be crossed, okay. even with the help of a rope. And the east path will bring you to a sky-high mountain, which is impossible to climb over. Okay. You have 10 seconds to choose your way. It doesn't matter if there's a black hole. I'm going to die regardless. Why can I not just go northwest or southeast, right? Why can't I go southwest or northeast? You need to follow the south road. Whale sharks present no threat to people and they'll let you swim across the lake without any problem. That bitch has shark in his name. It's a threat. It is a threat. North is a black hole. It doesn't matter where I'm going. I'm dead. Okay, bro. Four, trapped by a psycho. A psycho caught you and let you choose where you'd have to stay on w your own for the following three weeks. Okay. If you manage to survive, He'll set you free. He gave you three options. Okay. A desert full of cacti, a sunny field with flowers, a banana and a glass of water, and no. a beach under stormy skies, the beach. surrounded by sharp cliffs and hit by high waves. The beach. Where do you have the best chances to survive? If I drink the milk in the banana, there's going to be bees and mosquitoes trying to get you. He just said cacti are poisonous. You know what I'm saying? So I got to choose the beach. It's the only thing that kind of makes sense with what we learned, right? In a desert, there's no water, and you won't last long. Yeah. One banana and a glass of water won't help you to survive for three weeks. Okay. Your only choice is the beach. The sea will provide you with food, and since the weather is cloudy, you'll yeah. be able to drink rainwater. I'm a genius! Five, a scary castle. Okay. One night, you find yourself stuck in an old, spooky castle. You okay. hear someone chasing after you, and you run faster and faster but suddenly, a dead end. However, as your eyes adjust, 
you notice three doors in the wall. But behind each door, there are some horrifying creatures. Oh, yeah? The first door hides zombies. Werewolves are behind the second one. And if you open the third door, you'll come face to face with bloodthirsty vampires. Okay. Which door should you open to have a chance to survive? Is it nighttime? Because if it's not nighttime, I'm going the middle route because a werewolf would just be a human. But if it's nighttime, I think I'm going zombies because zombies should not be able to catch up with me. Zombies shouldn't be able to move, period. Their body Escape through the second door. The moon is waxing at the moment and werewolves only transform during a full moon. Did you tell me the moon was waxing? Did you say that? Because if you didn't say that, I don't want to hear this. Did you say it was a waxing moon? Can we see the moon? Can we see the moon? We Faster, can't even see the moon. Suddenly, so my nigga, a dead end. It's a setup. However, as your okay, eyes bro. There are some behind the second one, it's only transform during a full moon. Six, a wicked kidnapper. You're kidnapped and held in a basement by a crazy professor. Okay. But the basement has three doors, and one of them leads to freedom. The professor leaves, and you get to open the doors one by one. Okay. Behind the first door, there's a dense jungle full of deadly creatures. Behind the second door, there's a gigantic fire-breathing dino that could burn you alive. Okay. And behind the third door, you see a lake of ice water that freezes first everything door. in several seconds. First door. How can you escape? First door easily. I'm not about to mess with no dinosaur, and I'm not about to die in the cold, bro. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm getting hit by some poison, and I'm, be, I'm, I'm being immune to it. Walk out through the second door. Dinosaurs can't breathe fire. No. But you just said he could. And it's still a dinosaur. It, just because you say it can't breathe uh, fire does not mean it's not a dinosaur. What are you talking about? Number seven, the attic mystery. Mark and James played in the attic where it was dark and dirty. Okay. But when they came down, only Mark's face was covered in dust, while James' face was miraculously clean. Okay. However, it was James who went and washed his face. You have 10 seconds to figure out why. Because dude's face is not dirty, he's just black. They're both black, and they got white stuff on their face. I don't know. James looked at Mark's face and thought that he was dirty too. At the same time, when Mark looked at James, whose face was spotless, he decided he was just as clean. That's so dumb, bro. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. It's so stupid. Um, oh my god, it's so stupid, bro. Number 8. A Treasure Hunt A treasure hunter got lost in a forest, but okay. after he had been walking for some time, he noticed a crossroad with a big stone in the middle. There was okay. a note on this stone which read, It says, if you can split this stone in half, you'll become a demon slayer? <laughs> Give me three months. <laughs> Give me three months. I'm breaking the bitch. Four plus no five. The man realized that the sign must be showing the direction toward the treasure, but it was written in some tricky cipher. Can you help the treasure hunter to decipher the code? Hell no. Nah. I don't know what the hell this means. I don't know what the fuck you want for- How am I supposed to work with this? What am I working with? The man should turn the note upside down. Then it will read south. What? What? I guess I can give you this. I guess I can give you the O. I'm not giving you this fucking N. And I'm not giving you this plus sign. I'm not doing it. I'm not. That's where the I don't treasure care. is. I don't care. Nine. An escape from a locked house. You got kidnapped and locked in a stone house. Okay. However, there are four doors you can escape through. But behind the first door, it's extremely cold, and if you choose to go that way, you'll turn into a block of ice in a matter of seconds. Okay. The second door opens into a water tank swarming with hungry sharks. Okay. Behind the third door, 
The sun shines so brightly that it burns everything in no time. Okay. And the room behind the fourth door is filled with toxic gas that won't let you breathe. Is there a way to escape? You have 10 seconds to figure it out. I run through the toxic gas and hold my breath or I'm swimming with the fishes. I don't know what else. I mean, they're swimming with the fishes or I'm holding my breath. I like. Wait until the evening when the sun goes down and escape through the third door. So you want to convince me that it's going to be scorching hot to the point where it's burning everything during the daytime. And then all of a sudden when it's not daytime no more, it's just going to be cold and cool and easy to walk on. You're fucking lying. You know. 10. Dropped into a pit. One day, John was caught by a maniac and thrown into a 20-foot deep pit. Okay. The maniac told him that in five minutes, the pit would start to fill with water. John was horror-struck because he can't swim. He looked around and noticed that on the bottom of the pit, there was a six-foot-long rope, a four-foot-tall wooden barrel, and a three-foot-tall metal safe. Okay. John himself was six feet tall. How could he use these objects to get out of the pit alive? Um, you have 10 seconds to help the poor man. Sit in the barrel like Luffy, right, and just wait for the water to fill in and then hop in the barrel to carry you up. That's what Luffy did, so I'm gonna assume that's gonna work in real life, right? Or learn how to swim, John nigga. should hold on to the barrel when the water starts to rise. It'll help him to stay afloat I said and take it. him to the surface. I caught it! 11. Shout out One Piece. A cafe theft. Look at this picture. 10 minutes before it was taken, someone from this photo had stolen all the money from the cafe on the beach. Damn. However, all these people claim that none of them had visited the cafe in Damn. the last 10 minutes. Who's the thief? The person in last place? Or the person that has the goldfish? The person that has the goldfish? Yeah, goldfish, man? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. The thief is the man with an ice cream. Why? If he had bought it more than 10 minutes ago, it would have already melted, or the man would have already eaten it. So you're telling me, so you, you want to convince me that, that he can't eat this goldfish? He can't eat it? Huh? The goldfish can melt too? So can the corn on the cob? Does she have, I think I see ice in this drink. Why hasn't the ice melted? The thief is the man with an ice cream. If he had bought it more than 10 minutes ago, it would have already melted or the man would have already eaten it. 12. A prison escape. Matt escaped from prison by digging a long tunnel in the floor of his cell. Pablo Escobar? He'd been crawling through the underground tunnel for three hours when he saw that the main tunnel divided into three smaller ones. Okay. But the first one was on fire, and the second and? tunnel was home to a nest of venomous snakes. Okay. The third tunnel was set with explosives. How can Matt escape? Go through the explosive. They won't blow up if you tell them to turn off. Or let me get you. Spit on the fire. Is that what you want to say? Spit on the fire? Or grab the snakes and throw them on the fire to put them out? Matt should opt for the first tunnel. He can walk through it after he puts out the fire with dirt. That one wasn't that bad. I'll give it to you. That one wasn't that bad, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. And now, let's get down to the part you've been waiting for. So, if your result is zero to four correct answers, it's time to read some books that'll help you master the art of survival. I got more than four. Or you can just watch more videos like this and I got you'll more, definitely I got more than get four. better. I got more than four. If you crack five to eight riddles, you're almost there. Just a little bit more effort and practice, I got more and than you'll eight. be able to get out of almost any dangerous situation. I only got and one wrong. if you manage to get through 9 to 12 difficult no, I got situations two, I got two wrong, I got two wrong. Which of course a is better plus. than games. Man, I'm a genius, man. Man, I'm, I'm such a fucking genius, bro. Oh my god, man.